This is code.org, and we are deserting, maybe? Wait, dessert? Is that really? Yeah, it does. I had to read this three times, and it's like, are they going to say desert? Are we painting a desert? It's dessert, guys. I can read. <laughs> the dessert. Uh, the dessert class represents desserts. Ooh. That the Project Mercury. Mercury is not good to eat. Just saying. Project Mercury Pastries Food Truck Cells. Okay. It it has an instance it has instance variables for flavor and price. All right, sure. Declare instance variables for flavor and price. I want to back up. Hey, Mr. Geyser, what, what's an instance variable? Let's see what they give us here. Private data type. Ooh, hey, this is kind of... Be sure to replace data type with a specific code to initialize instant variables. Yeah, right there. Okay, so an instant variable is going to be a local class variable. It is going to be assigned during the, it can be assigned when an object is instantiated. And all of that is a fancy way to say an instance variable is something like this. See, we have dessert int price. Zero. Or we don't even, even need to assign a value. Boom. Right? That's an instance variable. It's a variable within the class. And then when we make a new dessert, uh, we instantiate a new dessert object, dessert dot price we might have access to something like that that's what they're saying all right super basic explanation and it's a bit more complicated but that's what we're talking about with that set up declare an instance variable for flavor oh and for price okay uh right no argument constructor that sets flavor to plain and price to zero. Oh, interesting okay um so price int oh nope notice here what type is this if there's a dot an integer is only a whole number so what is it when there's a dot i hope you're yelling at me a, a double mr kaiser oh did they say flavor first i guess i'll do that flavor is going to be a string unless all their flavors are numbers which would be dumb flavor equals oh they don't want us to assign though so we're just defining these and not uh, we're just declaring these but not defining them all right, string, and then double for price. Bam. All right. And string is capitalized because string is not a primitive data type. Interesting, Google, if you're ever uh, intrigued. So, and we do touch upon that. All right, write a no argument constructor. This we're pros at, right? What's a constructor? Well, it's just the class's name, public dessert. No argument so no parameters is what they're saying these words are also often used interchangeably boom all right and then what do they want for this write a no argument constructor that sets flavor to plain and price to zero okay flavor is going to be equal plain price wow that's not a that's not great price is going to be equal to zero point zero and so what do we got here? When a new object is created, dessert object is created, it will have these properties or these attributes, I guess they're calling it, flavor and price, right? And then since you're going to call the constructor to create it instantly, or right when you can uh, call this constructor, flavor is going to be set to equal to plain, price will be this. Oftentimes, I actually strongly prefer just because of readability to do this. If you're going to have default values, you can set it like this. Um, I would say it's more common in uh, programming, and that's because you can tell at a glance and you don't have to kind of hunt and peck and make sure that these aren't set. Regardless, it is good for as an exercise and when initially bro breaching, the, breaching the subject to see it set up in this manner. So cool. These variables will be defined. What else we got here? Instantiate, right? A no argument. Yep, yep. Instantiate. Ooh, we get to instantiate. And yep, bam. All right, so dessert. And I'm going to say, what do they want me to call it? A plain dessert. Boring, but fine. Equals new dessert. And nothing in there because there's no parameters here. So there's no arguments in here. And is that it? Big money, big money. And it does nothing, which is what we expect, right? We were just making sure that there's not an error. Plain dessert for you. Onward.